All right, what is going on? This is your boy PXG Cash Hour, coach of the New York Needle Kings. Welcome you to another week to battle for the Worldwide Champions League Season 3. This week's battle is between the Plymouth Porygon Zs taking on the Falls Furfro. Here is the lineup for the Plymouth Porygon Zs, coach by um, the Range Slime, aka Connor, who has not made any changes starting from last week and he falls for a coach by napalm who also has not made any changes both of these players are bringing in their drafted team still both uh, coaches are 1-0 the battle that we're gonna have for you today after consideration with planning and strategizing and whatnot jolteon metagross amistar shift tree latios and mega aerodactyl Taking on Yen Mega, Mega Ampharos, Ente, Miltank, Mew, and Dragalgi. Of course, Miltank, former member of the New York Needle Kings. Right on. I see you, girl. Moving on to big things. I see you. Um, let's see what happens this week. Between these two coaches, both are 1 0, so one of these coaches are going to get their first loss of the season. Let's find out who it is. The Plymouth Porygon Z's battling the Fald Furfro. All right, Napalm issued the challenge. Leads off with Shashimi, the Dragalgi, and Connor leading off with Jolteon. Jolteon going for the Volt Switch. Won't do much as the Dragon Typing resists the electricity. Goes back. In his place is Spider Gross, obviously Metagross. Napalm going for the Sludge Wave is not affected by Metagross's Steel Typing. Goes for the Zen Head Miss. Uh, <laughs> Zen Head Miss, and of course it missed. Napalm retaliates with Scald. Does not get the burn. Zen Headbutt actually lands this time. And is enough. Dragalgi not known for his physical defenses. Dragalgi goes down. We are 6 and 5 on the board right now. Out comes out Bipin Reborn, the Ampharos. Ampharosite is activating as here comes Napalm's Mega, Mega Amp. The mold breaking the mold, Ghost Protect, probably the scout if Metagross has Ice Punch or uh, Earthquake. Ghost Resident Headbutt again, the answer may be no. Napalm goes for Dragon Pulse, it is resisted by Metagross. Metagross goes for the Zen Headbutt, actually lands, gets Ampharos to about half health, Napalm withdrawing Mega Amp, goes into Mew, Metagross again going for Zen Headbutt, Mew will resist it as it is a Psychic type itself, Mew going for the Will-O-Wisp, will half um, Metagross's attack, Goes for the Meteor Mash, Mew avoids, Napalm not having luck landing most of Metagross's attacks. Mew going for the Aura Sphere, neutral hit, doesn't do enough. Here comes the Meteor Mash, actually lands, doesn't do enough, probably because of the burn. Metagross's health is whittling down. Napalm withdraws Mew. Goes into Commander Yen Mark, the Yen Mega. Metagross going for the Meteor Mash again. Yen Mega able to take the hit. Metagross down at the red already. Napalm does withdraw. Goes into Kinetics, the Jolteon again. Yen Mega goes for the Giga Drain. Brings Jolteon down to about 75% health, recovers some of that lost HP. Speed boost is kicking in, Yen Mega at plus one right now. Goes for the Protect, guaranteeing himself a plus two. Jolteon went for the Volt Switch, does not get it. Here is the plus two for uh, Yen Mega. Goes for the Bug Buzz. Getting Jolteon to the red, he is able to live, goes for the Volt Switch and is able to knock out Yanmega. Yanmega does not have good defenses. 
Yeah, Mega goes down 6v4. Connor's pokes are all living at <laughs> barely any health. Out comes out Arrow. In comes in Papa the Entei. Or Clobber the uh, Aerodactyl. Apologies. Um, Entei is floating with the Air Balloon. So Aerodactyl cannot use Earthquake to knock it out. But does have other tricks up its sleeves to knock out Entei. Like this one. Goes for the Stone Edge. Oof. And that was not a crit. Entei is down. Pops the Air Balloon because Connor is mean like that. 6v3. Alcopus on Mew. Clobber goes for the Crunch. Mew is eating a berry. It's probably a berry to weaken the damage from Crunch. Does help. But it lowers Mew's defense. Cobra Berry does weaken the damage. Mew goes for the will o -Wisp and Arrow is able to avoid it. That would have helped out Napalm pretty well. The miss is going to cost that and cost him a Mew. Mew goes down. 6v2. It is not looking good for uh, Napalm, but anything is possible in this league. Arrow going for the Earthquake. Ampharos goes down. This is starting to look like the third 6 0 for this week already. Out comes out Mora Linda, the mill tank. Arrow goes for the Stone Edge. Takes Miltank down to half health, and this is the Miltank is known for his physical defenses. Goes for Power Up Punch to raise up its um, attacks that plus one, but it won't be enough. Napalm probably wanted that miss from Stone and miss pretty badly. Miltank goes down. This is a 6 0, the third one this week. And there goes the battle! GG's to Connor does continue his winning streak at a 2-0. Unfortunately for Napalm, Dumbs the Breaks uh, is now 1-1, one one, but it's still early on in this league. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. As usual, like and subscribe to keep watching some more action of the Worldwide Champions League. As always, this is PXG Cash Howard, coach of the New York Needle Kings, signing off.